people are still crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, even at this hour, some of them on bicycles, some of them on cars. We learned something about our fellow New Yorkers over the last three days. When we want to be, we can be very creative. Thousands of police officers braved the cold to honor a hero. They attended the funeral service of an officer gunned down trying to help a neighbor. Across from the driving range is this batting cage. This is interesting. As the river flowed this way, the fence on this batting cage acted like a screen, stopping the twigs, branches, everything else, even some golf balls. One of the exercises during this lock-in is something called the Identity Search Questionnaire with some very probing questions for these kids, all aimed at allowing them to make better life decisions. One person has been killed, one is injured in this plane crash. The plane, we are told by a witness, came toward Teterboro Airport. It was wobbling when it came in. When it floods like this, your eyes can deceive you. It looks like I'm sitting on a park bench in the middle of the lake, but I'm not. This is actually the sidewalk. There are some ducks here. The lake itself starts about 40, 50 feet this way. The curb is about 10 to 12 feet this way. And if you look down the street, it's impassable. Good evening. I'm Frank Cipolla. And I'm Kathleen Trigg. Brenda and Harry are off. We begin with that search for a police officer whose truck went off a bridge and into a river. His partner's body was pulled from the water last night, while all day long searchers worked desperately in the bitter cold water. Police under fire tonight in a missing persons case. A young man who has vanished has been found dead. His family made the discovery. It happened along Route 78 in Newark, just outside Newark Liberty Airport, a place where they say police should have looked. We have a couple of uncharitable acts to report this holiday season. In Edison, New Jersey, someone swiped $8,000 in collections right off the altar of the Guardian Angels Roman Catholic Church. Bizarre death in the Bronx right in the middle of a birthday celebration. A young woman dead after witnesses say she was slapped in the head. Tonight, family members are blaming the victim's boyfriend. My family is real destroyed at this time. Family members say Jessica's boyfriend, whom she had been dating for about five years, is responsible for her death. An autopsy is scheduled for this week. A taxi becomes a flaming wreck and the result is deadly. Police say a minivan ran a light and struck a cab in Jamaica, Queens, causing it to catch fire. The people in the van fled on foot. Taxi driver Garab Singh was killed. Witnesses stunned. Folks all across our area waking up to some very foggy weather this morning. Check this out. Check this view from Weehawken. You can't even see the New York City skyline across the river. And look very closely. Can you see anything in there? That is a ferry crossing the Hudson River right there. Now to the crisis in Iraq where an American soldier was among at least 24 people killed. As Greg Palcott explains, today was one of the bloodiest in Iraq since this month's elections. A Christmas story of survival. A surfer went nose to nose with a shark and won. This is video of Brian Anderson moments after he was pulled from the waters Christmas Eve off Oregon. Well, here's a question. Did you shop today? Did you shop I today? Didn't. I didn't. Well, if you did, the sound of cash registers probably still ringing in your head. That's a great sound to retailers who are banking on this so-called second holiday shopping season. One where everyone tries to cash in. A hearing-impaired girl now has a doll named after her. Five-year-old Morgan Marlowe is the proud owner of hearing-impaired Morgan Barbie. Good evening, everyone. Roland is off tonight. I'm Frank Cipolla, and we begin with a horror on a subway platform. It may be the liveliest place in the city that never sleeps, but for a moment this afternoon, everything came to a grinding halt. Two cabs colliding at the crossroads of the world, with tourists scrambling to get out of the way. There could be transit trouble down the line as MTA employees try to backtrack members of the TWU Local 100 gathering in Union Square today to list demands for their next contract. Two passengers are dead after a Greyhound bus overturns in an early morning accident in California. The bus drifted off a freeway near Santa Maria without signaling or braking. Then it overturned and slid 100 yards before hitting a tree. An elderly man who died in his Newark home may have been overcome by carbon monoxide fumes. The 78-year-old man was found dead in his apartment tonight. Fire officials say a generator being used for heat was running in the kitchen. Starting tomorrow, if someone slaps a flyer anywhere on your car in New York, they could be slapped with a stiff fine. A law signed by Governor Pataki in August strengthens an existing law. It prohibits anyone from placing a flyer anywhere on your car, not just the windshield or the rear window. Well, a job interview can be a bit scary for anyone with the employer asking all kinds of questions. But what if he asks you to take your clothes off and then slip into something sexy? The I-team checked out one enticing job ad that crossed the line. A woman from Queens has been identified tonight as one of three victims of an Alabama motel murder. The three gunned down Thanksgiving Day at this airport inn in Birmingham. Police believe 58-year-old Dorothy Smith of Flushing was a guest at the hotel. 
Topping tonight's eBiz News, it was a prize-winning off-Broadway musical in the 1990s. Now it's come to the big screen. Marion Etwal Watson sits down with some of the stellar cast of Rent. Well, the weather's been yours, mine, and ours, and everybody's has been really nice. <laughs> really very nice. Thursday looks pretty nice, and then on Friday, another chance of showers with maybe some snow north and west. I was just complimenting you a little while ago how nice the weather is, and then you uh, bring us this. You're very welcome. Uh, <laughs> thank uh, you, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Breaking news right now, we told you earlier tonight about a man who was killed when he was pushed in front of a subway train. Now police say they have the man's co-worker under arrest. Jim Gately is live in Long Island City with the very latest. Jim. Brenda, I'm standing in the middle of a flooded parking lot in front of this convenience store in Hop Hog. It's been a wild day weather-wise. Now, if you think parking, trying to find a parking spot in this or walking in this was a problem today, driving in it was worse. There should be ducks out there instead of cars. I don't know. But even a duck would have a hard time with this. Today's fast and furious downpour smacking Nassau and Suffolk counties, leaving drivers who took a chance stranded midstream, their cars waterlogged. In West Babylon, two people were hurt when their vehicle slipped off the road and took a quick dip in a nearby lake. Horrible. The roads are flooded everywhere. It's hard to get around. People dr tend to drive a lot slower and don't really pay attention on the roads. Tonight, more of the same, but this time, a combination of high tides, wind-driven rain, and quick-rising floodwaters. And tonight, the water along New York Avenue in Huntington is still about a foot high, and it's been higher. Many cars have been trying to get through today. In fact, the town has brought out some salt spreaders to block the roadway so drivers don't try it. Jeff Meek has been watching drivers all day, ignoring those roadblocks and rolling the dice. They'll go right by them. They'll try it. They'll give it a shot. But what are you going to do? I guess they just want to get home. And while most Long Islanders are home, hopefully safe and sound tonight, some can't be, like Mike Lashnitz, who drives a cab, and in this weather especially, keeps his eye on the other guy. Any advice tonight? Y yeah, just take it slow. Take it slow and uh, watch out for the other guy, you know, and be uh, courteous on the roads tonight. That is good advice. By the way, LIPA is reporting tonight that 3,000 of its electric customers are without power in Nassau and Suffolk County. Also, the Hicksville Fire Department reporting that it has lost all phone service. They say if it's an emergency, call 911 instead. We are live in Hop Hog. Frank Cipolla, UPN 9 News. Brenda, back to you. Frank Cipolla continues our team coverage from Washington Heights with that part of the story. Good evening, Frank. Brenda, the traffic here along Broadway in Washington Heights pretty much back to normal at this hour. That was not the case this afternoon as we travel through here. In fact, like so many New Yorkers, we were in the thick of it. It seemed like all roads led to the George Washington Bridge today, except one, and no one was exempt from the traffic squeeze, not even a New York City councilwoman. So you thought you'd escape the West Side Highway I, and come to And Bro come this way. Now I'm going to make a right turn over here on the, at the light and go straight down. And you're headed home. So, yes. Folks heading home had to either sit, like these commuters along Broadway in Washington Heights, or do the stop and go shuffle up the West Side Highway. When something like this happens, unusual things happen in New York City. Once it's the last time you could walk right down the West Side Highway and walk faster than the car next to you. Many drivers used to the daily migraine that comes with navigating the Big Apple didn't even hear about the troubles north of the George Washington Bridge, while others took advantage of the buddy system. A friend called in the Holland Tunnel and told us that that was happening. But I forgot. We thought it was way up ahead, so we weren't concerned about the traffic. You didn't know until, did you think it was a little, traffic was less than it was usual? Well, yeah, when I saw over there, I saw no traffic at all. I was like, wow, I was surprised, especially looking at the time at 530, you know, I figured, you know, I caught a break today. And now you know. <laughs> I guess no one's after battle. The only vehicles making time were those hauling earth-moving equipment to the scene. <laughs> or those smart enough to know that on this day, two wheels beat four. Are you driving between the cars? Oh, a little bit, trying not to get hit, you know. You're taking a shortcut. Taking a shortcut. That smart guy right there. By the way, we did our own unscientific survey. We went one block in an average of about 10 minutes today during the height of this mess. We are live in Washington Heights. Frank Zappola, UPN 9 News. Harry, back to you.